Not really, but let's check them out. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are doing something absolutely insane. We're going to take a look at the future of military power in the Philippines. I'm talking about the most advanced, most powerful, and most insane military tanks that will be dominating the battlefield in 2025. We've got our hands on exclusive details, and trust me, you won't believe what these machines can do. We're going to break down every single detail, from their massive guns to their high-tech armor that can stop almost anything. I'm talking about a full, deep dive into the Philippines' most advanced military tanks for 2025. We're going to explore every single one of these beasts, revealing their names, their mind-blowing special features, and what makes them so unbelievably powerful. Forget everything you thought you knew about tanks, because what you're about to see will completely change the game. We'll look at tanks that can swim, tanks with computer brains, smarter than your phone, and tanks with firepower that can level a building from miles away. This is the future of warfare, and you're getting a front row seat. And listen, you absolutely have to watch until the very end. I'm not kidding. The last tank we're going to show you is, without a doubt, the most impressive, most jaw-dropping piece of military hardware you will ever see. It's a total game changer. So grab your snacks, get comfortable, because we're about to witness the incredible evolution of the Philippine military. Let's get into it. All right, first up on our list is an absolute monster, the Sabre Light Tank. This isn't just any tank, this is a precision instrument of destruction, a true sharpshooter on the battlefield. The first thing you need to know about the Sabre is its incredible brain, the advanced fire control system. Imagine being able to lock onto a target miles away, with the computer calculating wind speed, distance, and even the spin of the earth to guarantee a perfect hit every single time. It's like having an aimbot in real life. This system gives the crew an unbelievable advantage, allowing them to engage enemies faster and with more accuracy than ever before. It's not just about seeing the enemy, it's about hitting them before they even know you're there. Now let's talk about the business end of this machine, the massive 105mm gun. This cannon is no joke. It's capable of firing a huge variety of ammunition, from armor-piercing rounds that can punch through enemy tanks like they're made of paper to high-explosive shells that can clear out entire enemy positions. The sheer power of this gun, combined with that insane fire control system we just talked about makes the Sabra an apex predator. It can hunt and destroy heavily armored targets from a safe distance, making it one of the most feared light tanks in the world. The sound of this thing firing is enough to make the ground shake, it's pure, unadulterated power. But what good is all that firepower if you can't survive a hit? That's where the Sabra's modular armor comes in. This is genius. Instead of having one standard set of armor, the Sabra can be customized for any mission. Heading into a high-threat urban environment? Slap on the heaviest armor package for maximum protection. Need to be fast and nimble for a reconnaissance mission? Use a lighter armor set. This modularity means the Sabra is never caught unprepared. It can adapt to any threat, anywhere, anytime, making it an incredibly versatile and survivable machine on the modern battlefield. This tank is a survivor and it's built to win. Next up, we have a vehicle that feels like it's straight out of a science fiction movie. This is the ASCOD 2, and it's basically the supercar of armored vehicles. The most mind-blowing feature right off the bat is its hybrid engine. Yes, you heard me right, a hybrid engine in a military vehicle. This isn't about saving gas, it's about tactical advantage. The hybrid system allows the ASCOD 2 to switch to a silent watch mode, running on quiet electric power. Imagine this beast sneaking up on an enemy position completely unheard. It can observe, gather intelligence, and even position for an ambush without making a sound. This stealth capability is a complete game changer in modern warfare. But the future tech doesn't stop there. Inside the ASCOD 2 is a digital battlefield management system that connects the crew to everything happening around them. It's like a massive real-time strategy game, but it's real life. The commander can see friendly units, enemy positions, and mission objectives all on one screen. This system allows for insane levels of coordination and situational awareness. The crew isn't just driving a tank, they are a mobile command center making split-second decisions based on a constant flow of live data. It turns chaos into a perfectly orchestrated plan giving them a massive intellectual advantage over their opponents. On top of all this high-tech wizardry, the ASCOD 2 is incredibly fast. We're talking about high mobility that lets it race across the battlefield, repositioning to flank the enemy or quickly reinforce a friendly position. 
it can keep up with main battle tanks, cross difficult terrain, and get to the fight faster than the enemy expects. This combination of stealth from its hybrid engine, intelligence from its digital brain, and speed from its powerful chassis, makes the ASCOD 2 one of the most dynamic and unpredictable assets the Philippines will have. It's not just a vehicle, it's a technological marvel designed to outsmart and outrun the competition. Get ready for this because we're taking the battle from the land to the water. Meet the Guarani 6x6 armored vehicle. This thing is an absolute beast, and its most incredible feature is its amphibious capability. That's right, this armored vehicle can literally swim. It can drive straight into a river or the ocean, and with massive propellers on the back, it transforms into a boat. This is a huge deal for a country like the Philippines with over 7,000 islands. The ability to cross water obstacles without needing a bridge or a special transport ship gives the military unbelievable flexibility. It can launch surprise attacks from the sea or rapidly move troops between islands. But the Guarani isn't just a boat with wheels, it's a serious fighting machine. On top, it's equipped with a remote weapon station, or RWS. This means the gunner doesn't have to expose themselves to enemy fire. They can sit safely inside the armored hull, using a joystick and a video screen to aim and fire the machine gun or grenade launcher with pinpoint accuracy. It's like playing a video game, but with very real consequences for the enemy. This technology keeps the crew safe while still allowing them to lay down a devastating amount of firepower on any threat that pops up. To make sure it's always connected to the rest of the force, the Guarani is packed with an advanced communication suite. This isn't just a simple radio, it's a secure network that links the vehicle to command, to drones in the air, and to other units on the ground. They can share voice, data, and even live video, ensuring everyone is on the same page. This constant secure link is the nervous system of the modern army. The Guarani's ability to fight, swim, and talk makes it the ultimate jack-of-all-trades, perfect for the unique challenges of the Philippine archipelago. It's a true island hopper. Now, let's talk about a true legend that has been given a 21st century upgrade. This is the M113A2+, Plus, and while it might look familiar, I promise you, this is not your grandpa's M113, the most important upgrade is its armor. The original M113 was an aluminum box, but this new version has been reinforced with upgraded armor packages. This means it can now withstand heavy machine gun fire and shrapnel from artillery shells, things that would have been a major threat before. This extra protection is a massive confidence boost for the soldiers inside, knowing their ride can take a punch and keep on going. It's all about survivability. Under the hood, the M113A2 Plus has received a serious power boost. They've dropped in an improved, more powerful engine. This isn't just about going faster, it's about reliability and performance. The new engine gives it more torque to climb steep hills and navigate through thick mud and jungle terrain, which is everywhere in the Philippines. It also means the vehicle is more reliable and easier to maintain, which is crucial when you're operating far from a base. This upgrade ensures that the M113A2 Plus can get troops wherever they need to go no matter how tough the journey is. It's the workhorse of the army, now with more horses. Finally, the inside has been completely modernized with new electronics. We're talking about new navigation systems, better communications gear, and updated displays for the driver and commander. This brings the classic M113 platform into the digital age. It improves the crew's awareness of their surroundings and allows them to network with the other advanced vehicles we've been looking at, like the ASCOD 2 and Gorani. Taking a proven, reliable design and supercharging it with modern armor, power and tech makes the M113A2 plus an incredibly smart and cost-effective upgrade. It proves that even an old legend can learn some amazing new tricks. Okay, I told you to wait until the end for the most impressive one, and here it is. This is the Pandur 28x8, and this thing is an absolute masterpiece of engineering. The first thing that will blow your mind is its incredible speed. With eight massive wheels and a powerful engine, this vehicle can hit speeds of over 100 kilometers per hour on roads. That is insanely fast for an armored vehicle. This high speed allows it to act as a rapid reaction force, racing to hotspots on the battlefield in minutes, it can outrun threats, reposition to gain a tactical advantage, and deliver troops or firepower exactly where they are needed, faster than anyone expects. But speed is nothing without protection, and the Pandor 2 is basically a mobile fortress. 
It features advanced protection systems that are among the best in the world for a wheeled vehicle. The V-shaped hull is specifically designed to deflect the blast from mines and IEDs away from the crew compartment. It can also be fitted with add-on armor to protect against RPGs and heavy machine guns. On top of that, it has a state-of-the-art warning system that can detect incoming laser-guided missiles and automatically deploy countermeasures. This multi-layered defense makes the Pandor II one of the safest rides a soldier could ask for. The ultimate feature of the Pandor II, however, is its insane versatility. This single platform can be configured for dozens of different combat roles. It can be a troop carrier, a command vehicle, an ambulance, a reconnaissance scout, or even a tank destroyer armed with anti-tank guided missiles. This modularity is a logistic dream. The Army can adapt its fleet of Pandor IIs to whatever the mission requires, making it the ultimate multi-tool of the battlefield. Its combination of blistering speed, incredible protection, and unparalleled versatility makes the Pandor II 8x8 the crown jewel of the Philippines' new armored fleet. It is truly in a league of its own. And that is a wrap. We've seen some of the most unbelievable military machines on the planet today. From the sharpshooting Sabre light tank and the stealthy Ascod II, to the swimming Guarani and the legendary M113A2 Plus Reborn, and of course the insanely fast and versatile Pandur 28x8, the future of the Philippine military is looking incredibly powerful and high-tech. These vehicles aren't just about firepower, they're about speed, intelligence, and survivability giving their soldiers the edge they need to dominate any situation. It's absolutely mind-blowing to see this level of technology being deployed. Now, I have to know what you guys think. This is the most important part. Go down to the comments right now and let me know which one of these tanks impressed you the most. Was it the swimming Gorani, the silent hybrid Ascod II, or was it the sheer versatile power of the Pandor II? There are no wrong answers. I genuinely want to see which one of these amazing machines won you over. Let's get a huge discussion going in the comments section. I'll be down there reading every single one of your comments to see which tank is the fan favorite. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into cutting edge military tech and you want to see more insane videos just like this one, do me a huge favor. Smash that like button. And if you haven't already, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you never miss another video. We have so much more incredible content coming your way that you do not want to miss. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.